Hello everybody, today we're going to solve the quadratic equation 6x squared minus 13x equal to negative 5. Now to solve this equation, we need to take the constant term to the left side of the equation. So we need to add 5 on both sides. We get 6x squared minus 13x plus 5 equal to 0. Now you can solve this equation any way you want. You can use the quadratic formula or by factoring or uh, by completing the square. I'm going to try to uh, factor the left side of the equation. So let's see, we have 6x squared. We can get 6x squared by multiplying 3x times 2x um, or uh, 6x times x. Okay, so either one would work. Let, let's see which one will be the correct factoring. And now we have 5 or positive 5. We can get 5 by multiplying 5 times 1 or sometime, or in this case, I believe we're going to have negative 5 times negative 1. So both of them would be negative. The reason why I think it's both of them negative because the middle term is negative. So let's go ahead and try to factor it. So let's try to use this one here, 6x squared with 3x times 2x. So if we have 3x here and 2x here, and we're going to see which one, where is the negative 5 and where is the negative 1. So if you try to, to use, uh, to put the negative 5 here and negative 1 here, thinking that negative 5 times 3 is negative 15, and here you have 2x, you probably think that you're going to get 13x. But let's try to see if this is a correct factoring. The way you can uh, check it without actually uh, doing the FOIL is multiplying the inner term, negative 1 times 2x gives me negative 2x, and 3x times negative 5 gives me negative 15x. If you add these two numbers, you're going to end up with negative 17x. Unfortunately, that's not what we have in here. So this is not the correct factoring. So instead, we can put here 3x and 2x. Let's try to put the negative 5 on this side here. So negative 5 and negative 1. Let's see if this is the correct factoring. Again, if we multiply these two, we're going to get negative 10x. And if you multiply these two, you're going to have 3x times negative 1, negative 3x. And if you add them up, you get negative 13x. And if you notice, this is what we have here in our example. So this is the correct factoring. 3x minus 5 times 2x minus 1 equal to 0. Now, um, uh, we set each factor uh, containing a variable equal to 0. So 3x minus 5 equal to 0. Or... 2x minus 1 equal to 0. We do this to uh, solve the equation. Okay. Now solving for x, uh, plus 5 plus 5, we get 3x. This cancels and you're, le you're left with 5 here. And you divide by 3 on both sides and x is going to be uh, 5 over 3. So we have a, a solution that's a fraction, which is, which is okay or improper fraction in this case. You add 1 on both sides, you get 2x, this cancels, 0 plus 1, that's 1. You divide by 2 on both sides, you get x equal to 1 half. So the solutions are 5 third and 1 half. I hope you find this video helpful. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.